Yo guys, what's going on? It's Mossy HC7 here and welcome back to episode 12 of the Blackburn Rovers career mode. You can see we are sat in first position. We've got 10 games left in the season. We have got 3 points above Leicester, 6 above Leeds and 9 above Coventry City. And we're going to start this episode off with an away trip against Watford, who are currently in 8th. So we should get a result here, I would like to think so. Let's, let's see what we can do. This is the team that's going to play against Watford. Schmodic comes in in the camp spot instead of Muslija because he is a little bit tired once again, even though we haven't played in a week. His stamina is absolutely dreadful. But let's see if we can get the job done. Ten games left. Let's get the first one underway and hopefully we can get a good result from it. Come on. Oh, Lewis gives it through to Kone, who can find Ince who slots it into the back of the net and we're 1-0 down against Watford. That is not the start that we wanted. We want to stay in first position, but we find ourselves a little bit troubled here against Watford. We are 1-0 down to Tom Ince, is that? I'm assuming it's Tom Ince, but I don't even know if he still plays football. Watford fans are going crazy. They're at home. Per terrible defending again from Blackburn. Walstead tries to come out, but they get the goal and we're 1-0 down. And we've given ourselves a little bit of a mountain to climb. Sigurdsson tries to find Connolly. He can find Connolly. What can he do with it? Can't give it back to Sigurdsson who's going to hit one. And he's 1-1 one, one. straight away. Pick up the ball Sigurdsson. We're back in this game as fast as we possibly could be. And it's 1-1. One, one. Let's see this goal. So Connolly had enough of scoring goals. Passes it to Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson, boom into the back of the net that is what you like to see from the boy and this is going to be an in-swinger from Harry Pickering let's see if Branthwaite can get another headed goal it does go to him but Porteous rises above him and Sissel's going to hit it but Hout gets there again and it's going to be another corner from Harry Pickering Branthwaite rises for it he does get his head on it but he does not direct it goalwards for that's very surprising from him. Usually that ripples the back of the net. Oh, that's not a good tackle. But I like it, Schmodix. I like it. So, I mean, this game is a very scrappy game. Oh, Schmodix has gone flying in again. He just loves fouling people this game. Healy on the ball. Oh, Bramford gets done. And it's great save from Wallstead, but goes straight to Conan. It's 2-1. Overall... Poor defending again from Blackburn. I mean, how often have you seen that this season? There's something we're going to have to work on when we get to the Premier League. If we get to the Premier League, we might not if we lose this game. But that from Bramford was terrible. He's been so good for us. Whilst they makes a great save, but goes straight to their player. And they make it 2-1. And um, Schmodix has been booked this time. I think he should have been booked for the first one, to be fair. But Nsisso does try to find him. And he can't. Nice Sigurdsson wins the ball, but Carter's going on a little run. Oh, he's going all the way actually. Whips it in to Connolly. Can he get an assist again to Schmodix? He can. That goes from Carter running down the wing. Schmodix, questionable. Should he be on the pitch? Maybe he should have had two yellows, but he gets that goal, and we are 2-2 against Watford. That was beautiful from Carter running down the wing. Little dink through to Connolly. Connolly with two assists this game, may I add. And it's clinical from Schmodic. Something that he hasn't really been good at this season. But this game, he buries it. 2-2. Two -two. Nice, Britain. Come on, can we finally take the lead? He does find Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson, can you find Nsisso? Nsisso! Oh, with his left foot, I wanted him to hit it with his right, but he makes it 3-2. Absolutely beautiful from Blackburn. We were 1-0 down, pulled it back to 1-1. 2-1 one, one. One down, back to 2-2. Two, two. Now, we finally do get the lead. We are 3-2 up against Watford. Beautiful from Sigurdsson. Puts it in to Nsisso, who hits it with his left and goes into the back of the net. It was a bit of a weird shot, but we take it. And the front three is firing 
the front four really because Connolly's got getting the assist. We absolutely love it. Three two. Can we add any more goals? Connolly is with the ball now. Can find Enciso and he's gonna go. He's gonna go. Oh he's gone. He's gone too wide. Can he bury it? Oh he should have passed. I should have passed. Roberts makes a good save. Could have been four two. Could have been game over. But we know how dangerous we are from corners with Bramthwaite. Could be four two now. It's not. Sigurdsson on the ball. He's gonna run out wide. Can he put the ball in? He can! What in? Oh my god, what a goal for the young man! Absolutely smashes it into the back of the net. Don't know what the Watford defence was doing. Sigurdsson could just turn, run down the wing, put a cross in, and Adam Wharton with an absolute power strike in the middle of the box. Watch this again. Puts it in. Wharton. Bang! Past the keeper. Keeper, he's going the wrong way. He can't do anything for it. That is what you like to see. 4-2 just before half time. And the half time whistle surely is going to go soon. Oh, we might get another actually. Schmonix to Connolly. Can Connolly join the action? Oh, he hits the post. Oh, but he somehow keeps it in and he gives it to Schmonix. It's a hat trick of assist for Connolly. I can't believe that goal. He hit the post, somehow kept it in with a bit of skill, and then gets his third assist of the game. Let's have a look at the replay. That shot was good. That little turn was beautiful. And Smodix is not going to miss that, is he? 5-2 in the first half of this game. Absolutely chaotic game to see. Surely that's going to be the whistle. It is the whistle. That is half time and we are 5-2 up. All right, guys, we're back on the way. After half time, a chaotic first half. Smodix got two goals. Connolly got three assists in this game so far. He was unlucky. I just looked at the replay then. His shot that hit the post was actually deflected. So a little bit of fortune there. But let's see if it's still going to be a chaotic game in the second half. It looks like it is going to be. But Warstead manages to keep this one out. And it's still 5-2. I think we're definitely going to win this game. There's no way we're going to bottle this now, surely. Try to play it over to Connolly. But how it gets there. Bit of fortune on that one not to go in. Ince tries to hit it. And Britain gives it away to Matthias. Handworker, lovely. Only just come on and he's doing that already. Travis play Reeves. Is he onside? Please be onside. I think he is. Reeves, oh, he takes a heavy touch, but he does get it into the back of the net. I said that we haven't had a goal in the second half, but Reeves comes on. The young man from the youth academy. And he gets a goal for us to make it 6-2. This has been an absolutely chaotic game. But it's what you like to see as a Blackburn fan. So we play it through with Travis. It was a little bit late, but he was still on side. Takes a heavy touch, but he does manage to slot it into the back of the net. Oh, he does really well there. Travis, lovely. Tronstad, what can we do? Can find Connolly. What can Connolly do? He can find Reeves. It wasn't who I was aiming for. But can Reeves get his second? He can get his second. Connolly might not have scored this game, but he has got four assists. And Reeves coming off the bench about 15 minutes ago. Well, not even 15 minutes ago. With 15 minutes to play. And he's got two goals for Blackburn. This guy has a bright future. He does indeed. Look at this. This time, similar to last time, running through at the goalkeeper, but he switches his mind. He goes to the other side instead of the left side, and he gets the goal. Now we can break again. Can we make it 8-2? Schmodix can play through Maya Lida, and Maya Lida is going to slot it in. He's not. Roberts gets his hand on it. And I tell you what, we don't even have the danger man who is Bramthwaite on the pitch, so we're going to go short for this one. Schmodix to Reeves. Reeves, can he get his hat-trick? He can't. That would have been a way to confirm his first hat-trick in professional football. But we do get a 7-2 win. And that is absolutely amazing to see. Considering we were losing 2-1 at one point. To come back and win 7-2. Absolutely love it, Blackburn. Well done. I can confirm, boys. After that game, we have scored 100 goals in the league so far. We're only 37 games in. Ainsley Pierce also out of the door. We get an A rating for that one, which is absolutely fantastic to see. He won't be gone until January. January. He won't be gone until the summer. So 
We're moving on. We've got a game against Ipswich, who are dead last. We are first. We're at home. I'm going to sim this game. Hopefully, we get the win. But no in FIFA or EA, they will give me a loss. But let's see what we can do. Guys, before we get into this game, I am actually going to settle the buy option for Kobe Mainu because um, I know he hasn't played this season, but I'd like him to go out loan next season and hopefully get some experience and come into the team. So let's see if we can sign him up. We'll give him rotation. And yes, he's happy with that. Five years, beautiful. Release cause, nope, lovely. And uh, what, what will he want? Current wage is... 4.8 give him 10 or is that too much he's happy with it we're happy with it we've got Kobe Mainu into the team and that is let's see the rating an A rating that is good player market value 1.5 we obviously decided that price when he was a 62 rated player so that is good to see we've got him in and we are happy Right guys, we've got a game against Ipswich, we're at home, they are 24th, but Connolly and Walstead are both on international duty, so neither of them can play, so Piers with absolute, he's red, he's unhappy, I feel like he's just going to concede for fun. Maya Lida, I'm happy for him to start up top, let's see if they can get a result, come on, 2-2 against last place, oh my god, Maya Lida gets a goal and Sisso gets a goal, but that is absolutely shocking. That's poor. I'm so angry with that. I'm so angry with that. So we have got a game against Middlesbrough here. And Carter is not going to play because he has been suspended. So Bagard's going to come in. But um, we are going to sim this game because they are sitting in 19th. And the next game is against Leeds who are second in the table. So if we win this and then win against Leeds, I'm pretty sure that is us certain to go up. Might not win the league, but certain to go up. So let's sim this. See how we get on. 1-1 one, one again. Why are we drawing against these bad teams? It's so poor. If we win this game against Leeds, we're going to be 5 points ahead of Leeds. And we're going to be 8 points ahead of Leicester. With 6 games to go in the season. I think we could easily, easily get the job done here. And rise up the table. I'll tell you what the team's going to look like. Muslija drops to the bench because he's a little bit tired. Schmodix comes in and that is the team that's going to play away to lead the top two. Let's get it underway. Let's go Blackburn. Let's get a result here. Let's see if we can get a clean sheet as well. Probably not. But the result is all that matters. Let's go five points clear. I know we can do it. Lovely. We started off brilliant here with a bit of passing. And Sisso, what can you do? Can you find Schmodix? He can. Can Schmodix hit one? He can, but Melier gets it. And it's a good start from us. Pickering, can you find the main man? Jared Bramthwaite to get a goal early on. He can find him, but Rondon gets there first. Sigurdsson hits one outside the boot. And Sisso now. <laughs> He's 1-0 from the very start. It's a great save from Melia to start with, but it bounces straight to Enciso, and Enciso puts it into the back of the net. And that is 1-0 to Blackburn Rovers. Let's see if we can keep this lead and see the game out. I'd love to put leads on their absolute arse and let them not get promoted. But we need to get our job done and get promoted ourselves. Notto with the ball in. That's a great ball in to strike and they get a goal. Oh my god. Those whipped balls in from computers, they just always seem to... They have no right in scoring from that. Look how far out he is. And Wolstead just... I don't know why he's off his line. Stand on your line, bro. If you're not coming for it. Such poor keeping. Such poor defending. And it's 1-1. One -one. Smodix has the ball. He's been tripped up. Ref, he's been tripped up. Wharton gets it. Can find Connolly. Straight away. Connolly. Bang. Oh my god. How has he missed that? He does not miss chances like that. That could come back to bite us. Pickering, you stay where you are. Or not. Bramthwaite will come over. He doesn't mind having a tussle with James. No, he kept that in, referee. He defo kept that in. 
Gail Hart with the ball. I think Leeds beat us last time, didn't they? Can't really remember. Jorginho, Gail Hart. That's a weird save from Morstead, but he kept it out. That's all I care about. Have a corner now, though, Leeds. What, they, what can they do with this? They whip it in with Notto. Another cross, and it's another goal. Oh my god. If it stays like this, we're down to second for the first time in a very long time because of two stupid, stupid sim draws against lower lower teams. Gives it to Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson, what could you do? You could find Connolly. Connolly, you're being poor. You're going to have to come off for my litter. Because when you were absent, he was here. He was here and he was scoring. Rutter with the ball. Oh no. Here we go. James with it. This another weird save from Walstead, but he has kept it out. Don't let another cross come in from this guy here, because they will score it. Oh, Walstead comes and collects it, and we're two, one down at half time. It's not the performance or the half that I wanted from the boys. Let's see if we can improve. Leeds are going to get us under away here. We started off super, super quick in the fifth minute, getting a goal. Thought we were going to walk all over them. But they've come back and they've scored two crossed goals. And they're in the lead. Go, 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 go. Oh, Connolly, too slow, man. I feel like he's got asked to come off. He has not been playing well. He's the main man, but he has not been playing well whatsoever this game. Oh, they're just... They're playing round us so well, Leeds. And they're doing a really good job. Travis. Can't find Wharton. Can't find Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson, what can you do? Can you find Connolly? Can't find Connolly. Connolly hits one. He gets it into the back of the net. He has not had a good game whatsoever, but you can always count on him to score a goal. Run back with that ball. Let's see if we can get a win now. Connolly, beautiful from you. But Sigurdsson, even better from you down on the wing to give the ball to him. I was thinking of going near post, but I thought, switch it, far post. Keeper maybe should have saved it, but we're going to take the goal. And it's 2-2. Can't run very far, though, sadly. Can't find Britain, though. Britain, back to Sigurdsson. That's beautif beautifully worked, boys. Can't find Schmodix now. Schmodix, what can you do with it? What can you do? Can you hit it? He can hit it. It's 3-2 to Blackburn Rovers. Schmodix. In the last few games of this season, he has turned up his form. I brought in Moss Legia. He did not like the competition, so he's decided he's going to stay, play better. And he's come into this game and the last game that we played, and he's been absolutely performing. Gets the goal, and we are 3-2 up against Leeds. Oh, I'm trying to focus. Don't, don't want any goals going in. Carter, beautiful. Travis. Oh, that was strong from you, Travis. Play him now. Reeves has gone. He has absolutely gone. Can he can he get a final goal? He tries to, but Melia with a save. Reeves with a rebound. He can't get a rebound. There was no one there for me to pass to. But it might be enough anyway. We wasted some time there. Connolly with the... Oh, he can't get the ball. Just make a foul. Make a foul. Don't let him get forward. It was a foul, but... Jed Spence with it. Love that from you, Bramthwaite. One foul too many. Oh no, we shouldn't have taken a foul. We know they can cross it in from there. They're going to be dangerous from here. Keeper comes out for it. Walstead, great decision. We get a win against Leeds. It's 3-2. We are going to be clear at the top by five points. Eight points ahead of Leicester. And we could be rising up to near enough 100 points by the end of the season. Let's go have a look what the table looks like. Right guys, we've got a game against Rotherham coming up. They are currently 18th in the league. We should win this. I'm not going to sim it because lots of people are tired. It's the last game of the episode. And it sets us up nicely for the next episode to be the season finale. With only five games left of the season. A couple of them are going to be sim games. The rest are going to be played. And we're going to see if we can win the league. I will show you the team once I've finished jigging around with it. Right, so this is the team. Still a few tired people in there, but Handworker comes in, Bagard comes in, Tronsad, Maialida, Muslija, and Reeves all come in to play this game. I think we should get it over the line anyway because they are low down in the league, but let's see what we can do. Right then, Rotherham are going to get us underway for this game. 
and let's see what they could do. They need the win to make sure that they don't drop down into the relegation zone. We need the win to make sure we extend the lead at the top. So it could be a good game or it could be a whitewash for us. But let's see how we get started. We're attacking. Connolly, and it's 1-0. Straight away, third minute, they're messing around with it. We tackle them and we give it to Connolly and he does get a goal. Gets a goal in the last game. I I wasn't happy with his performance in the last game, but he did get a goal. Hopefully, this game is going to be even better. But beautiful from Piers to win the ball back. Connolly just fires it in, and it's 1-0. I'm saying it could be a hard game or an easy game. Let's see. So far, it's looking like an easy game, but we did score in the fifth minute against... Uh, was it... It was Watford, and we ended up... Well, that was an easy game in the end, but yeah. Ignore me. I'm waffling. It's a great save from Walstead. Sorry, I wasn't talking then. I was just concentrating on not trying to concede. Lucas is going to hit one. Oh my God, Walstead! He scored a no goal. How? How has he made that go in from there? The ball's going wide. Poor defending. But look, it's not even hard. It's going. What? That's just so poor. Keepers at the near post is absolutely terrible. Walstead own goal, and it's one-one against 18th place Rotherham and we give it away none with the ball Bagard gets done and Bramall he's going on his own oh it's a penalty Britain I don't know what's happened there is that actually a penalty let me see the replay because I don't think that he pulled him down there I think he went down on his own well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball. No, he hasn't even tackled there. Oh, my God. Come on, Walstead. Nope. Goal. We are 2-1 down to Rotherham. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. The ref's an absolute wanker. Klukas fires it. And it's a goal. That free kick is rigged. Whenever they get one from that range, they just fire it in and they head it, head it and it goes in. That's happened to me so many times this season. Look, they have no right to score from this. Look at that run. Wow, and it's a goal. And we're 3-1 down to a team in 18th. And we've given the ball away again. And my lid has won it back, thank thankfully. He's going to hit one again. Johansson saves. It's just... All that's happening now, he just keeps cutting in and then just keeps getting saved. Musleja, can you whip one in to Bramthwaite? Come Reeves, what have you got for me? Nothing. Straight into Rathbone. So you what, we do the hard job in beating Leeds and then we perform like this against a team that's not even good. Oh my god! How are you getting beat there, Bramthwaite? It's 4-1. Why are you complaining, Bramthwaite? That's your fault. Look. It's just, you, oh, my God. I just can't be arsed. We're 4-1 down. We're playing so bad. I don't even... There's not definitely not a way back into this. Bramall with the ball. The co I'm not going to lie. The commentary on this game is going to be absolutely terrible because I'm just... Annoyed by how we've performed. It's going to be another pen. Oh my god. The worst game as a manager. He's gone the same way. We're being absolutely undone by a terrible, terrible team. We were 1 0 up. Five one down at half time. I don't even know what what you could say to the boys to make them come back in this. Bramthwaite has had a terrible game. Carter's coming on. The rest of the team has been terrible as well. We've got no one good on the bench really because they're all knackered. We're just gonna go out again and probably get smashed. Five one. I knew our defence was bad, but I didn't think it was this bad. 
Is there any way back into this for Blackburn? I haven't. I don't even know. I shouldn't have played this game. Oh, My litter! If there's any team in the league that can come back into this, it is the league leaders with over 100 goals scored because we know that they can score goals. So, I'm not going to count us out of this yet unless we score, unless we concede another one. But I know, in this episode, we have scored seven goals against Watford. So, oh, we get a deflected goal as I'm talking about goals. Must lead you gets one. I don't know what happened here. Muslija hits one from range, it comes off Hall, it bounces over the goalkeeper, and I tell you what, we only need three now to get level. Blackburn could come back into it. You know what they're like. You know what we're like. But it is a big ask from every single player on the pitch. And still got to be wary because we are terrible at conceding goals. But Travis has come out with the ball. Can he put it across? He can! Must Lee check gets another! Oh my god, we're turning it round. We're turning it round. Pick up the ball. Pick up the ball. Pick up the ball! Oh my god, he's not picking up the ball. He's going to go celebrate. It's 5-3. Travis wins it. Little ball across to Must Lee Jack. And we're, we're definitely back in it now. We are definitely back in the game right now. Let's see if we can somehow find another two goals. If we can, then we'll go for the win. But let's at least try and redeem ourselves and get a draw from this game where we have been absolutely shambolic. Tronstad finds Connolly now. What can Connolly do? He's going to hit one from a tight angle. Johansson. Oh, he, I thought he spilled it to Connolly. But he didn't. Britain, you got to get there. Oh, he can't. Reeves. Lovely. Lovely. Find Connolly. Who can find Musleja? Musleja, bury it. He does bury He's got a hat trick. He's 5 4. No way are we coming back into this game. There's just absolute no chance we're coming back into this game. Just to prove, ever, before we see this as well, just to show you all settings, game settings. Let's go on the sliders. Look, everything is normal. Okay, there's no cheating going on from me. There's no cheating going on from the computers. This is all legit. Still on ultimate difficulty. I can't change it in mid-game. And we scored three goals. We got their goal. And we're back into the game. Can we do the unthinkable? I was literally saying that if any team could do this, it would be us. Because we score goals for fun. And Rotherham looking very comfortable. And now looking a bit nervy. And we're coming again with Travis. What can he do? Can find Connolly. He can't run through Hall with great defending there. Oh, but God, that's poor. Although I was the one that passed it, but that was poor. Nice. Oh, yes, Travis, play Reeves. No! The passing now is going wayward. No! The fucking passing is so stupid, man. Keep trying to pass the players and then they just... Oh, it's so dumb, man. Let's get Sigurdsson on. And Maynou's going to have to come on as well. Get some energy on the pitch. In a game that we could have pulled it back, it doesn't look likely now. But it didn't look likely before to score three goals, and we did. But I think all the momentum has gone. They've sucked it out. But Reeves, what can you do? What can you do, Reeves? Find Connolly. Connolly, bury it. Come on. Come on. 6-5. <coughs> We're back in it again. We're back in it again. I'm skipping the replays. I want to play this game. This is one of the maddest games I have ever experienced in FC24 or FIFA in general. Just career mode in general. Handworker. Oh, my God. The passing again. Mainu. I wanted that to go to Travis. Come on, Handworker. Get out there. No goals conceded. Lembiska. Lovely. Come on. Run that, Sigurdsson. Run that. Go, go. Morrison's not fast. Sigurdsson, bury it. He has buried it. It's 6-6. Surely not. Can we win this game? Oh, my God. Surely not can we win this game. 
I don't believe it. 6-6, six, six, I thought we were all done and out, and we've come back into it somehow. Sigerson, beautiful goal. Have we got anyone else that can come on and do some damage? We've got Enciso for Reeves. And we've got a Schmodix from Muslija. It's the usual team out there now. Can we get it over the line? Let's wait and see. Could not get the ball in the back of the net. That was it. Mainu, great pass. And Siso, great pass. Sigurdsson. Oh, he's put it wide. No way. That was it. That was 7-6. Oh, he spooned it wide. Sigurdsson, you've ruined the best comeback in the world for us. Mainu with the ball. Find Schmodix. Go on, Schmodix. Play him. Lovely. Schmodix. Hit it. And Siso. Oh, my God. Connolly. Oh, no. We can't get it in. It's going to end 6 6, but we were 5 1 down. We got a draw out of this game. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. We should have actually won the game, which is mental to even think. Rather than must be thinking, how have we even just come out of that with a point? But we don't care. We get one point out of it when we shouldn't have even got any. Right, boys. After that game, we sit still in first. We are six points ahead of Leeds. We are eight points ahead of Coventry. I think the top two is certain to be ours. We've got five games left. And that game, honestly, I'm still calming down from it. It was absolutely insane to see us come back from a 5-1 losing scoreline but we did we came back and we got a point so that is going to be it for this episode if you did enjoy please like comment and subscribe make sure you turn that notification bell on so you never miss a video and i will see you in a week peace